in the shadow. Warm and moist. They apply apart your eyelids, stopping you from blinking even if you don't want them to. Suddenly, a bright ball of light appears, careering down towards your soft, vulnerable eye. Excuse me! Excuse me! A voice from nowhere pierces your shattered and rubble-fucked brain. Do you know where you are? Do you know what time it is? They dribble out of your mouth, forming some sort of reply. The voice stops, the ball of light disappears. It seems you must have made some sort of sense. Neck muscles straining, bulging with the effort. Slowly it rises off the pillow. Your head feels like a gigantic ball of lead. Looking left, then right, and down towards your cloth covered feet. A familiar scene greets your bloodshot whites. Faded brown vines by faded green leaves. The sun shining through a window overlooking a big multi-level car park. As they continue to roll around in their painful sockets, five other beds intrude upon the scene, each with their own seemingly lifeless cadaver. A couple have tubes running from a glutinous light bag into their pumped up veins. Yes, you know where you are. A soul searing scream shatters the silence of your empty mind. You failed. You failed. Again. I close my eyes, shutting off sight. I place my hands over my ears, shutting out sound. In empty, formless limbo I drift, for a while anyway, shedding layer upon layer like a snake sheds its skin, my outer being until only the hard core of my very soul exists. A room forms around me, all warm and comfortable. There is a bed in the corner all draped in black. There's no doors, no doors at all, just a single window and nothing more. I go to the window and look out. A multitude of faces brushed by both past and present, all mixing and whirling about each other. Various expressions forming and fading time and time again upon their faces. Sadness, fear, anger and anguish. Never ending the cycle of pain and suffering. I pull the soft black curtain across the window, vanishing the scenes of my vision, and go to bed. Laying down, I curl into a tight ball. Safe I am, safe at last. For no one can get in and hurt me, and I, I can't get out to hurt anyone. For there is no door, no door at all to let anyone in or out in this room of mine. I sit here. So quiet. My fingers lightly press the smooth, firm handle as it fits snugly into my palm. The softly deep impression. The cold blue shine of the barrel fascinates me. 
I wallow in self-pity and hate. The black and the whole. Leading to an unknown destiny grows larger and larger, ready to engulf me forever. All the colours of life have faded. The soft, smooth smell of fresh oil softs my nose as I bring it closer. So ever closer. Faded until everything seems so black and grey. My forehead tingles to its cool, hard touch. Life is so worthless. Soon, soon it will all be. Thank you. 